Once upon a time, in a lush and vibrant forest, there lived a wise old owl named Oliver. Oliver was known far and wide for his wisdom and knowledge. Animals from all corners of the forest would come to him seeking advice and guidance. In the same forest, there was a mischievous and arrogant crow named Chester. Chester was known for his cunning ways and often bragged about his cleverness. He would often make fun of Oliver, calling him boring and saying, why waste your time with wisdom and advice when you can have fun and excitement like me? One sunny morning, as Oliver was perched on a branch, deep in thought, Chester swooped down and landed beside him. With a mocking tone, Chester said, Oliver, my dear friend, I have a proposal for you. How about we have a little contest to see who is truly wiser? Oliver, with his calm demeanor, replied, I'm always open to learning, Chester. What kind of contest do you have in mind? Chester grinned slyly and said, let's see who can find the shiniest and most precious gem in the forest. The winner will be declared the wisest in the forest. Oliver, knowing that wisdom and knowledge were more valuable than material possessions, agreed to Chester's challenge. The contest began, and both the owl and the crow set out to search for the shiniest gem. Chester flew from tree to tree, eager to find a glittering jewel. Along the way, he saw a sparkling river and thought, this must be where the most precious gems are hidden. He dipped his beak into the water and pulled out a small, shiny fish. Chester was delighted and decided to present it to Oliver as his precious gem. Meanwhile, Oliver took a different approach. He flew high above the forest, observing everything below. He noticed a group of animals gathered around a wise old turtle named Terence. Terence was sharing his knowledge about the importance of unity, kindness, and friendship. Oliver listened intently to Terence's words, and he realized that true wisdom wasn't found in material possessions, but in the valuable lessons one could share with others. Oliver decided to bring Terence's wisdom back to share with Chester. When Oliver returned to Chester, he saw the crow proudly displaying his precious gem, the small fish. Chester exclaimed, Behold, Oliver, I have found the shiniest and most precious gem in the forest. Oliver, with a warm smile, replied, Chester, you have indeed found something shiny, but true wisdom is not in the material things we possess. It's in the lessons we learn and share with others. Chester was puzzled. He couldn't understand why Oliver wasn't impressed with his find. In frustration, Chester said, you can keep your wisdom, Oliver. I have my shiny fish, and that's all I need. As time passed, Chester continued to brag about his precious gem to the other animals in the forest. However, his arrogance and selfishness began to distance him from his friends. He would no longer offer help or share his food, believing that his fish made him superior. On the other hand, Oliver continued to share the wisdom he had learned from Terence with the other animals. They admired his kindness, humility, and the valuable lessons he shared. Oliver's circle of friends grew, and he became even wiser with the exchange of knowledge and experiences. One day, a fierce storm hit the forest, causing the river to flood and sweeping away Chester's prized fish. Devastated, Chester realized the emptiness of his arrogance and materialism. He turned to Oliver for help and asked, Oliver, can you teach me about the true wisdom you've always believed in? Oliver, with kindness in his eyes, replied, Chester, wisdom isn't something you find in material possessions. It's in the willingness to learn, the humility to admit mistakes, and the kindness to share what you know. Let us start by listening to Terence and his lessons on unity, kindness, and friendship. From that day on, Chester and Oliver became true friends. Chester learned that wisdom wasn't about shiny gems but about the values that truly enrich one's life. He discovered the joy of sharing knowledge and kindness with others. And so, in the heart of the forest, the wise owl and the once foolish crow continued to share their stories and lessons with all the animals, teaching them that true wisdom lies not in material wealth but in the wisdom of the heart. And they all lived happily ever after, wiser and kinder than before.